Well, the big news this week is obvious. It's the FBI's email bombshell that's landed at Hillary Clinton's feet. How is she going to handle that? Well, that remains to be seen. But it brings a new wrinkle into our whole election process. FBI Director James Comey says that the agency is reopening its investigation into the Democratic presidential nominee Hillary Clinton's use of a private email server when she was Secretary of State, as it has discovered new messages which, quote, appear to be pertinent, appear to be pertinent to her tenure as Secretary of State. But notice where they come from. These emails were found during an inquiry into top Clinton aide Huma Ab Abedin, her estranged husband, former Democratic Congressman Anthony Weiner, who allegedly sent sexually explicit emails to a 15-year-old girl, a minor, in North Carolina. So it's yet to be determined how pertinent these are, uh, if in fact there is classified information and if in fact uh, federal laws were broken. But this whole election cycle has just been uh, one convoluted and, and confusing uh, from start to finish. We have two flawed and, and uh, uh, candidates that, that, that are up for election. And it's been a very difficult choice for many people. Um, but I want to bring a, a, a spiritual perspective to this from two aspects. Number one, from the Word. I'm reminded of Daniel's Word, and you've heard me say this before, in Daniel chapter 4, verse 17. The Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men. He's in control. He's sovereign. He has the last word. Most High is sovereign over the kingdoms of men, and He gives them to anyone that He wishes. And He places over them the basest, the lowliest of men. Now that's God's Word. He's in control. He puts over us the, the authorities that He wants. That's confirmed in Romans chapter 13, where the Scripture says, says there is no authority. No authority any place, under any circumstances, there is no authority except that which God has established. The authorities that, that exist have, have been established by God. In our democracy, God simply uses the vote of the people to determine who he places in authority. So I think we have to recognize that and realize that God is in control. He has the final say. Uh, he's in ultimate sovereign control over our circumstances and over the authorities that govern us. And secondly, I want to share with you a, a statement by a young woman from Australia. I receive it as a prophetic utterance, a prophetic word. Uh, she defines herself as an encourager. Her name is Lana Vauser, Lana Vauser. But uh, I followed her writings for some time now, and I think this uh, word that, that she's given us now is especially relevant to us as we face our election here. And it's a reminder of who's actually in control. Um, so I want you to listen to this. It's, it's a bit lengthy, but stick to it and hear the word of the Lord. I believe it is indeed a word from the Lord, a word through Lana Bowser. Thank you. 